All coming up on this new episode of Saiyan's World, where clothes are optional. We have a major, major musical artist that is forced to cancel a couple dates on its farewell tour. That fall uh, festival that's going out in Vegas later this year. Yeah, they've added a new date onto that. And we've got crazy new pictures and new, new characters to Rob Zombie's The Munsters movie that he's making out in Budapest. Strap on your safety belt. Hang on. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Saiyan's World. What's fucking going on? Uh, in case you don't know who the fuck I am, I am your host, Justin Saiyan. Also the guitar player from the band Corella DeVille. Post the link down there on the web. Uh, you can check us out on the dark and naughty web. Uh, we also have our first single. It's called Can You Please Me? It's available on the site as well. Uh, it's available anywhere you happen to stream music. Uh, Spotify, iTunes, Amazon Music, iHeartRadio, I Afghanistan. It's, it's fucking everywhere. Um, feel free to hit me up on Instagram. I am at justinsane.music. Uh, the band's on there as well. It's corella.deville.music. Uh, we got some cool motherfucking shit happening on there. So, uh, yeah, definitely check that out. Also on the website, I always fail to mention this. On the site, if you sign up for the email list, uh, you can be part of the, uh, what we call the CDV Vampires Club. Uh, you get, uh, kind of exclusive, uh, updates, uh, on, on the latest happenings through video. Um, sometimes you'll even hear songs uh, being written. Uh, you'll hear the riffs from songs we haven't released yet. So, a lot of cool shit. Plus, you get discounts on uh, on future merchandise, which is it's it's all looking fucking kick ass. So, let's get into this video. Uh, so, it was released uh, over the la last weekend that major music artist Elton John had to cancel uh, uh, just a couple of dates that he had scheduled in Dallas for this week, uh, Tuesday and uh, Tuesday and Wednesday at the American Airlines Center. Uh, they will be rescheduled. Um, he is fully vaccinated and he's had a booster shot, but he did come down with COVID. He's experiencing only minor symptoms. Uh, he is expected to resume his tour, which is called the Farewell Yellow Brick Road Tour. Uh, it's gonna resume Saturday in Little Rock, Arkansas. Uh, in case you don't know anything about this tour, um, it is his farewell, uh, launched in September of 2018. Planned 300 shows. Uh, the tour chugged along until March of 2020 when COVID hit and uh, forced in a nearly two-year break. Uh, he did return uh, uh, just recently, January 19th. Uh, he had a show in Nolens. Um, so he's got uh, dates coming up in uh, you know all, ma all major city cities. Uh, we got uh, Chicago, New York, Detroit. Uh, before wrapping up this leg of the tour, April 28th in Miami. Goes overseas and then comes back uh, July 15th for a show in Philadelphia. Uh, his prolonged goodbye to touring is now scheduled to the end of uh, end of summer 2023. So, um, yeah, so we hope, uh, hope Elton John is uh, nursing himself back to health. I'm sure his handlers are uh, taking very good care of him. So, uh, yeah, he's going to be back Saturday. So, yeah, if he comes to your city, amazing, amazing, iconic fucking artist. If you can, check his shows out. Fucking just amazing. Um, never disappoint. Alrighty, and some other live music news. So you know that uh, that festival that's going on in Vegas uh, that was scheduled October twenty second and twenty third. Uh, when we were young, that whole festival thing. I'm going to show the, uh, the the graphic up here. Uh, tickets sold out within minutes. But however, there is hope. Possibly, uh, they've added a, a third date. It's going to be Saturday, October 29th. Um, yeah, tickets, uh, as a matter of fact, I think tickets went on sale or were available today. Um, I got a notification because I was on a waiting list uh, for the 22nd, 23rd. Um, and then I got the email that uh, they had added a third date on the 29th. Unfortunately, I will not be able to go. Uh, tickets are pretty pricey, but, uh, you know, as as, uh, as expected. And also, it, uh, it costs a little, little, bit of, uh, little bit of change uh, to get my ass out to Vegas. So, uh, that will not be happening, but it can possibly happen. To you, for you, on you, yeah. So yeah, October 29th, third date, uh, just added to the When We Were Young tour. Uh, well, it's not a really a tour, it's just a festival. It's a badass fucking festival. It's 
Oh my god. Um, I was talking with a co coworker of mine. He was kind of disappointed with some of the um, some of the artists that are on that are on this uh, scheduled uh, docket, but uh, still, I mean, it's fucking phenomenal. So be sure to check this out. Third date, October 29th. Grab them if you can get them. All right, for the last order of business for this uh, episode, Rob Zombie, in case you don't know, he's been in Budapest, Hungary, uh, filming his uh, version of The Monsters. So over his social media, which I am a follower, uh, he's been releasing uh, different pictures, uh, some, in color, some in black and white, some in color, which uh, has been leading us. Is this movie actually going to be in black and white, which is, is the original, or is it going to be in color? It may be a mix. I don't know. That's one question we desperately have. Anyways. So over his social media, he's been uh, posting uh, different pictures of you know movie sets, uh, brick director's chairs, um, you know kind of back you know, behind the scenes uh, photos of, of cast members. So in the last month, he's uh, released uh, a few pictures. It'd be kind of interesting. I'm going to post them on here. So the first picture I'm going to show you is the uh, new cat. This is the latest his latest post. This is a castle. So we're not really sure how this is going to be incorporated, uh, but uh, he posted on here, said some damn fine locations here in Budapest. Uh, so th this will probably be, uh, most likely be in the movie. Uh, let's see, a couple weeks ago he uh, released a new character um, as he's done. Um, this has uh, made fans both uh, kind of happy and angry that you know we're not really sure if he's the man for the job. I personally think he is. You need to let the artist uh, do his thing. Um, so anyways, this new character, uh, the actress is Catherine Schell, and the character's name is Zoya Krupp. Uh, so this is the uh, this is the picture of her. Not really, it looks, uh, looks pretty much like a witch to me, so it should be pretty badass. Uh, a lot of the uh, other pictures he's kind of uh, released have been like uh, props, costumes, makeup, uh, film lo filming locations here and there. Um, so that is the new character. Let me show you this. He released this about a month or so ago. An electric chair. <laughs> so he said, he posts on here, it wouldn't be the monsters without comfortable, comfortable furniture hanging around. Uh, here's a little gem from a prop department whipped out. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So you kind of get an idea of, of uh, you know, how badass this movie is going to be. Um, I'll post another picture on here. This is a, basically a picture of the uh, director's chairs in front of the monster's house. Uh, 1313 Mockingbird Lane. So uh, yeah, he's just been doing some uh, some crazy stuff. Uh, some pictures have been kind of uh, cryptic. We're not really sure what they mean. Uh, like I said, the the biggest question is what we have is this going to be in black and white or color? We still don't know. All righty, everybody, that's going to do it for this kick-ass episode of Saiyan's World. Hope you dug it. If you did, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and definitely hit that notification bell. That way you're notified anytime I upload upload. Any new kick-ass, hard rock, and heavy metal, obviously my channel's all over the fucking place. You never know what you're going to get. But people dig, people dig the news because sometimes they hear about shit, sometimes they don't. Uh, there's a lot going on in the world. Sometimes you miss things. The stuff that you miss, I bring to you because it's stuff that uh, everybody, needs, uh, everybody needs to know about. So, Anyways, uh, hopefully you've liked the episode. Uh, be sure to hit me up on Instagram. It's at justinsane.music. The band's on there as well. Uh, Corella Deville music. Until next time, everybody. Stay metal. Stay rad. Love you guys. See you next time.